Hey everyone, so I'm at Unique Results in Chelmsford just doing a demo yoga tutorial that you can follow along. So I started off on all fours coming into downward facing dog. Lift the hips nice and high, push away from your yoga mat. If it's too intense on the backs of the legs, simply bend through the knees and allow the hamstrings, backs of the knees to adjust as you go along in the practice. Keep the head hanging down nice and heavy, but everything else must be engaged for this. So we're going to experiment with taking the right leg up towards the sky for what's called downward dog split. It's one of my favorites. Um, don't worry if you can't get the leg high, it really doesn't matter at this point. Maybe square off the hips um, if this variation works for you. You'll find that the hips are in alignment here with the shoulders. And also, if you're coming into scorpion bend, you will need to bend through the knee and bring the heel towards backside. It's just another variation, a little bit deeper working here on the hip flexors. Good. slowly drop that foot all the way down let's try it on the other side left leg reaching up towards the sky brush the toes up towards the ceiling good make sure you do the same as you did on the other side to so play around with that if you're squaring off the hips that's okay to do as well but of course if you want to open up through the hip um, and take the toes as high as you want to and then come into scorpion bend still move your chest towards the standing leg and keep your breathing nice and present all the way through this so careful not to hold the breath you don't want to go purple during this practice so come back down into downward facing dog whenever you're ready maybe take a little walk on the spot here it really helps to open up the backs of the legs the spine right leg lifting up towards the sky and step that foot forward here coming into low lunge so my feet are hip distance apart push into the back heel sink into the hip inhale straighten out the front leg as best as you can still push away from your yoga mat hips are square and if you want to, play around with a little forward fold. I'm doing my best to kind of crease from the hips here as I travel downwards, drawing through the belly. This is quite an intense one, so really listen to your body, what it needs. Relax through the shoulders and through the elbows if possible. Now we're going to bend back into that front knee, turn it into a high crescent lunge. So you can see the arms above my head, beach ball in between the hands. That's what you want to imagine. And make sure that you draw in through the belly. Use your pelvic floor muscles as well and really spread the fingertips out nice and wide. Now interlace the fingers round towards your lower back, squeeze your shoulder blades together and see if you can run your hands down the back of the leg. Really open up the front of the body, open up through the throat. Reach the hands back up, and then slowly come all the way down. Good, ground into the hands, push back into a plank pose. Make sure your tailbone is pushing towards your heels. That's it, let's come into a Chaturanga Dandasana all the way down towards the floor or you can hover if you want to maybe push from the toes open up the chest and heart coming into cobra then lift back up into downward facing dog balance out through the hands and through the feet here come up with the left leg reaching up towards the sky step that foot forwards low lunge feet hip distance so that you don't kind of wibble wobble and whenever you're ready inhale straighten out the front leg hip joints face forward same as the shoulders and whenever you're ready slowly fold down so just feel a nice stretch here and all along the back of the leg this is really good if you're really big into like running or spinning by the way your legs are going to love you for allowing them time to breathe and stretch out after all that hard work so lift up into high crescent lunge bend through the front knee and you can see that crescent happening here which is the hands all the way running down towards the heel at the back that crescent moon and then interlace the fingers round towards your lower back run the arms down the legs open up chest and heart up towards the sky or forwards depending on how intense it is lift the hands back up and then slowly come all the way down and into plank Okay, so this sets you up nicely so that you can come down onto all fours, shoulders above wrists, hips stacked above knees. I'm rounding the spine here, so dropping the head, dropping the tailbone, round the entire back, coming into what's called cat stretch. Good. Make sure you're breathing all the way through this, then turn it into cow pose, so the opposite of cat stretch here. And then move in between the two poses. Do as many as you like, you know, when in the morning I do quite a lot of those. And then come back into downward facing dog when you're ready. Gaze in between the hands, jump or step the feet forwards towards the head of a yoga mat or wherever you are in the house. And then forward fold down, nice and easy. Try not to kind of force your legs, force yourself down into the legs. So whenever you're ready, we're going to slowly roll up all the way up to standing. Maybe close the eyes as you do this in case you get lightheaded. And you're done. Thank you so much.